Welcome back to Sports Class with Dr. K. As the sports world continues to thirst for content, everybody is glued to the documentary about Michael Jordan and the Bulls, The Last Dance. We've done a couple episodes already on that theme, and we're going to stick with that for a few more. So one of the things the documentary covers, of course, is Michael Jordan's time playing in the minor leagues in baseball for the Chicago White Sox. That showed that he really wasn't a great two-sport athlete, even though he tried to play baseball. So in this episode, we're going to talk about some of the true all-time greats in terms of multi-sport athletes. Before we get to that, though, let me answer the trivia question from the previous episode. So in the episode on sports dynasties, I asked, three NBA players have won the MVP of the regular season, the All-Star Game, and the Finals in the same year. Michael Jordan did it twice. Name the other two players to do it. The answer is Willis Reed for the New York Knicks in 1969-70 to and Shaquille O'Neal for the Lakers in 1999-2000. to Okay, so before we get to the actual list of the best multi-sport athletes, let me talk about a few who just missed the cut. First of all is a group of athletes who are clearly very good at some other athletic pursuit than their chosen sport, but they're not really two-sport athletes. I think about guys like Mookie Betts, who's a tremendous bowler. He once bowled a perfect game, but he's not likely to become a professional bowler. And then there are guys like Tony Romo and Steph Curry and John Smoltz, who are great golfers, but again, they're not likely to play professional golf. So they missed the cut. Let me also mention a group of guys who played college basketball, but went on to be tight ends in the NFL. There are three really good ones in recent history, starting with Antonio Gates, who led the Kent State basketball team to the postseason, but eventually dropped basketball and became one of the best tight ends in football. Then there's Jimmy Graham who played college basketball for the University of Miami and then went on to a great career in the NFL with the New Orleans Saints, the Seahawks, and a couple of other teams. But the best of the bunch is Tony Gonzalez, who led Cal Berkeley to the Sweet 16 in basketball before becoming maybe the best tight end in the history of the NFL. He finished a 17-year career with more than 15,000 receiving yards and 111 touchdowns. But none of these guys really make our list of elite two-sport athletes because they played those sports at separate times and switched to their careers in the NFL. Now, let me give you a couple more guys who just missed making our top five elite multiple sport athletes. One of them is Jim Brown, and I hope he doesn't hear this because I'd be in big trouble. Everybody knows Jim Brown is one of the greatest running backs in NFL history. And a lot of people say he was the best lacrosse player of all time when he played at Syracuse University. But it's just a little too hard to nail down what that means. And even those in the know can't really define the best lacrosse player of all time. So Jim Brown, clearly a great two-sport athlete, but it's a little too difficult to determine just how great. Let me also mention Charlie Ward, who played quarterback for the Florida State Seminoles actually won the Heisman Trophy and then went on to a long successful career in the NBA. Again, clearly a great two-sport athlete, not quite good enough to make our list. All right, so let's get to our top five greatest multi-sport athletes of all time. I'm gonna start with Jackie Robinson. Now everybody knows about Jackie Robinson for breaking the color barrier in Major League Baseball in 1947. And obviously, he was a great baseball player, winning Rookie of the Year, a World Series title, and eventually making the Hall of Fame. But it's really no joke to suggest baseball might have been his fourth best sport. When he was at UCLA, he was a four-sport letterman. He was an all-star in football. He was great for the basketball team. And he was actually a track star as well. He might have qualified for the Olympics had they not been canceled in 1940. At that time, he could long jump more than 25 feet. So we know Jackie Robinson as a great baseball player, but he was really terrific in all of those sports as well. At number four on our list is Deion Sanders, prime time. Now, everybody knows prime time was a great football player, a lot of people know he was a great baseball player. He also had one of the great nicknames in all of sports history. 
By the way, check out my videos about great sport nicknames to see where he ranks on my list. So Dion was a tremendous shutdown cornerback in football, maybe the best of all time. Even though quarterbacks rarely threw his way, he finished his career with 53 interceptions. He was also a great return man. He returned nine of those interceptions for touchdowns and added six touchdowns on punt returns and three on kickoff returns. He was a first ballot Hall of Famer in the NFL. He was also really good in Major League Baseball, playing 641 games over nine seasons for four different teams. He's the only player to hit a home run in Major League Baseball and play an NFL game in the same week. On top of everything else, he was also a great track athlete in college. And it, on one day, he played the first game of a baseball doubleheader, went over to the track and ran some events in track, and then went back and played the second game of the doubleheader all in one afternoon. At number three on our list is Bo Jackson. Now, it's really hard to split hairs between Dion and Bo Jackson. They were both terrific in both sports. They were contemporaries of each other, made commercials with each other. But I'm going to give a slight edge to Bo because he truly was an all-star in both football and baseball. After a legendary career at Auburn University where he won the Heisman Trophy in football, he actually started his professional career in baseball with the Kansas City Royals. He hit 141 home runs in his career and stole 82 bases, and he had one of the most feared arms in the outfield in that era. In the NFL, playing for the Oakland Raiders, his 5.4 yards per rush average is one of the best all time. Tragically, though, his career in both sports was cut short by a gruesome hip injury suffered in 1991. He did play a few more baseball seasons after that, but he wasn't the same. So, based on what he might have been in both sports, I'm going to give the slight edge to Bo over prime time, but they were both terrific. Okay, we are getting into elite territory if you're going to beat out Dion and Bo, but there are two athletes who are ahead of them on this list, starting with Jim Thorpe. Now, Jim Thorpe first rose to fame at the Carlisle Indian School back in the early 1900s, where he led that team to victories over some of the greatest college football teams out there. And even within football, he played lots of different positions. He played offense, defense, and kicker. He rose to further fame at the 1912 Stockholm Olympics, where he won gold in both the pentathlon, five events, and the decathlon, 10 events. He also finished fourth in the high jump and seventh in the long jump. So he had an incredible career in track and field. But after those exploits, he went on to a professional career in a number of sports as well. He actually played professional baseball and professional football and earned a decent living doing it. Ironically, it's actually that success in multiple sports that led to his being banned from amateur sports after those 1912 Olympics. It was learned he had played professional baseball that same summer. So, Jim Thorpe, widely regarded as perhaps the greatest multi-sport athlete of all time. But if he's the greatest, who's ahead of him on the list? Well, there is one other athlete, but it's a woman, Babe Diedrichsen Zaharias, the greatest all-around athlete of all time. Now, the Babe, as she was known, rose to success through the AAU ranks in Beaumont, Texas. She actually led her AAU basketball team to a championship in 1931. At the 1932 AAU Track and Field Championships, she won six out of ten events and qualified for the Olympics in three of those events. At the 32 Olympics, she won two gold medals and a silver medal. After that incredible amateur career, she went on to play a bunch of different sports. She was barnstorming as a sometime baseball player. She participated in bowling. She even won a sewing championship. But it's in golf that she had her greatest professional success. She was as dominant in her era as Tiger Woods has in more recent years. And in fact, she was probably more dominant than Tiger Woods. At one point, she won 18 consecutive tournaments. Over her career, she won 10 major titles. And thus, she becomes, on my list, the greatest all-around athlete of all time. So, before we wrap up, let me give you your trivia question, which I'll answer in the next episode. 
the brother of one of the athletes that I've talked about on this list was himself a great athlete, winning a silver medal in the 200 meter sprint at the Olympics. Name that athlete. I'll give you the answer in the next episode. Like, comment, and subscribe. Thank you for watching. We'll see you next time.